Hello, everyone. Did you wait for the session? We waited. It is so good to look at all these topics once again, make these questions and discuss with you all. I hope you are joining every day. Even if you cannot join, don't worry, you should watch the recording. Yes. I am here to talk about the late 19th century and early 20th century today. And with me, you know who it is. It is Ankita Gangli. Hi. Ankita is joining us from Kolkata and I am in Kochi. All right, guys. So, are you ready? We are going to share the screen with you all. Hello, everyone. What is this? Where is Kalyani Vare speaking from? Shut up. <laughs> okay. Right. This is the PowerPoint presentation. Hey, guys. Did you look at the uh, PDF that we had shared in the Telegram group? All these questions are there in the Telegram group. Valat uh, public group. If you want the, want the link, you can check out the description of the video. All right. Ankita, are you ready? This is day six. Can you believe it? So many days we have done already. End of the 19th century to literature between the wars. Ready, guys? Here we go. Identify the correct statement about the end of the 19th century. This period was a highly artistic period when realism continued to flourish and it celebrated the observable contemporary reality. Is that true, guys? Did realism celebrate the observable contemporary reality? I think yes. During this time, Impressionism emerged in France. Ankita, was it in France or Germany? I think Impressionism and Post-Impressionism both, I think, emerged in France. You said it correct. There was a revolt against reason or rationalism, against materialism, against positivism. Do you think that's correct? I think yes. So, dear friends, what do you think is the answer? YouTubers, as usual, they are saying the correct answer. It is all are true. Look at another picture of the early 20th century. Did you like that? I have put lots of different, different pictures. Okay. Right. Oh, who is this man? Everybody knows. Is it? Is it W.B. Yeats? Ankita, is it W.B. Yeats? Yeah, I think it's W.B. Yeats. So choose the wrong statement. Musada, a dramatic poem, was the first published work of W.B. Yeats. Musada is the first published work. I have no idea. Is it correct? Let us look at the other ones. Yeats founded the Abbey Theatre in 1899 along with Gray, Lady Gregory and Edward Martin. I think that's right. Uh, 1899 is not the only year. It went on for some years, 1899, and next year it changed, next year it changed, like that it was. Yates was influenced by Japanese no theatre. That is correct, guys, I know, because Yates was influenced by uh, Japanese and Chinese theatre and poetry. He was introduced to them by... His assistant, who was that? Ezra Pound. W.B. Yeats was the founder of the Theosophical Society. I think that is the wrong, answer, wrong statement. What do you think, Ankita? I think he was the founder of the Rhymers Club, not the oh, Theosophical yes. Society. W.B. Yeats was the founder of the Rhymers Club. The other members of the Rhymers Club are? Do you know, Ankita? Lionel Johnson or Lionel Trilling. Uh, no, no, Johnson. Uh, Lionel Johnson. Dowson, Lionel Johnson. Yeah. Correct. WBH was the founder of the Theosophical Society. A, one of the founders of the Theosophical Society, Madame Blavatsky, was WBH's friend only. Madame Blavatsky, Russian intellectual. She was the friend of WBH. That's right. A, I found this... Uh, Theosophical Society emblem. Theosophical Society was founded in New York, actually, but all over India it is there. Annie Basant, also Theosophical Society member. Hana? Great. Oh, ho, 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 I found this caricature of WBH. Isn't that great? I want a caricature like this for myself. 
If anybody can draw my caricature, send it to me, okay? <laughs> now, poems like Easter 1916, The Second Coming, A Prayer for My Daughter. These can be found in which collection? Is it The Green Helmet and other poems? Responsibilities and other poems? The Wild Swans at Cool. Cool is a park. Michael Roberts and the Dancer. YouTubers, you're up, you're time you can tell us now the correct answer it is a very famous uh poetry collection by wb Yeats. it is michael roberts and the dancer here is another caricature of wb Yeats. hey angita wb Yeats was in love with a woman who was that i think it was uh what's happening with you Relax. Okay. This happens with everybody. Don't worry. Uh, uh, YouTubers are thinking, oh, this happens with me also. This happens with me also. Yeah, I suddenly black out at times. I'm like, okay. Mod, mod. Uh, mod. Lady Mod gone. Yes. Yes. Mod Lady gone. Mod. He loved. She did not accept him. And then he married Georgie Hyde Lees. Georgie Hyde Lees did what kind of writing, Ankita? Like this writing. Autom automatic writing. Uh, correct. Georgie Hyde Lees was part of WBH's occult group and she did automatic writing. And uh, what did Yates write based on Georgie Hyde Lees's automatic writing? A vision. A vision. The book of vision. Uh, WBH wrote the book of vision. That's right. Very good. You know a lot, Angita. You don't have to feel bad about not remembering some things. It's fine. All right. Hey, let us talk about this first. Easter 1916 is about a rebellion in uh, Ireland, isn't it? Uh, a terrible beauty is born. That is what he says there at the end. The second coming is his most important poem uh, where he talks about what rough beast it's our come round at last slouches towards Bethlehem to be born. He says that, remember? A prayer for my daughter is uh, a prayer addressing his daughter Annie and he is worried that uh, she will not uh, respect tradition. She will not be married into a, a her family that respects tradition. So he is uh, praying that her family, her daughter's husband and her and his family would respect tradition. That is a prayer for my daughter. Who said? Uh huh. Who is this? Nothing is really beautiful unless it is useless. Oh my God! That is the opposite of what we think. We like to buy useful things, right? When we pay money, we want it, we want it to be useful. But uh, this guy, this man, this writer, he was associated with aesthetic movement. No, no, it is not Walter Pater. No, no, it is not Oscar Wilde. It is either Victor Cousin or Theophil Gauthier. He said, nothing is really beautiful unless it is useless. Everything useful is ugly. Oh, everything useful is ugly. For it is the expression of some want. He believed that utilitarianism or uh, uh, looking at the use of things is so bourgeois, so middle class. Who is this? Can you uh, guess, Ankita? I think it was uh, Theophile Gauthier who said this in the preface to Mademoiselle de Maupin. Wow, that is right. Here is the novel, Madame Slay de Maupin. In the preface, he said this, that is right. Theophile Gauthier. And he laid the foundations of aesthetic movement, aestheticism. Where Oscar Wilde and uh, Walter Pater were important figures. That's right. Amazing. Uh, the Ballad of Reading Jail is a poem by A.C. Swinburne, written in exile in Berneval, La Grande and Naples after his release from Reading Jail on 19th May, 1897. Is it true or false? Well, A.C. Swinburne did and wrote a lot of things that scandalized the society. But was he imprisoned in Reading Jail? Is it true or false? This is the Reading Jail that I have. It is not called Reading Jail. It is Reading Jail. Uh, I have put the picture here. YouTubers, say true or false. Many YouTubers are telling us the correct answer, isn't it? Is Arun Ankita? It is no false. Yeah, it's false. It is this man, Oscar Wilde, who was imprisoned in Reading Jail. And he wrote the Ballad of Reading Jail. 
He was one of the first queer writers, Oscar Wilde. A very rebellious figure in his time. Great. Another question on Oscar Wilde. This is also a caricature of Oscar Wilde. Which of his works satirizes Victorian society? He was against Victorian society because Victorian society was about prim and proper morality, 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 morality. That is what Victorian society wanted. Oscar Wilde was against it. He was a rebel and he was professedly queer. Which of his works satirizes Victorian society and values and declare that divorces are made in heaven against the saying that marriages are made in heaven? He is criticizing marriage here. He's saying, if you don't, if you cannot adjust with your spouse, divorce because divorces are made in heaven. <laughs> is it Salome? A woman of no importance, the importance of being honest or an ideal husband. Oh, ideal husband it might be because it's about husband and marriage. Eh? YouTubers, I'm pulling your leg. That is not ideal husband. It is his most famous work from 1895. And Ankita is going to tell us which is that work. I think it's the importance of being earnest. That is right. The importance of being earnest. Oh my God. Who are these people, Ankita? Who are these two men and two women? Bolo, bolo. There was Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn is in, an, is in love with Jack Worthing. Jack Worthing. And uh, this is Gwendolyn actually. Gwendolyn in love with Jack Worthing. And mm -hmm. this is Algernon. Algernon. Algernon falls in love with Sicily. Sicily. And who is this, Ankita? Uh, it was an aunt. Uh, no, it was a mother of Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn. Gwendolyn's uh, mother. Lady mm -hmm. Bracknell. Bracknell. Lady Bracknell is interviewing Jack Worthing and finding out that he's a foundling. He was found in a bag in Victoria Railway Station. Station. And Lady Bracknell says, I cannot let my daughter marry a parcel. <laughs> she says, Jack <laughs> Worthing is a parcel. And then finally it is discovered that these two men are brothers. Algernon and Jack Worthing are brothers. Look at what is given here. Everybody loves Ernest. But nobody is quite sure who he really is. Because... Uh, Jack Worthing is pretending to be earnest. Algernon is pretending to be earnest. And there is no real earnest. This actually means that in Victorian society, people pretend to be earnest, but they are actually pretending there is nobody who is really earnest. That is the meaning. Are you loving this, guys? Will you like the video? Thank you very much. Every day, lots of people are liking our videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hum bohat <laughs> this is what you learn if you learn uh, Hindi from the radio. <laughs> there is Hindi class I used to attend in the radio <laughs> to learn Hindi. Okay. <laughs> oh, what is this beautiful bird? The win over. This is the win over. That is a poem by G.M. Hopkins also, right? This bird does not flutter his wings like this. This bird just spreads its wings like that and flies like this. Without fluttering like this. Such a confident flight. Anna? And the question is, what is the subtitle? A, did you know this kind of question came in net once and the options were based on where there is comma or not. Tell me now, what is the correct answer? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. To Christ our Savior, to Christ our Lord, to Christ the Son. YouTubers are saying the correct answer, Ankita. I, we are proud of them. It is to Christ our Lord with a comma, guys. With a comma. Comma is very important. Ankita, shall I make up a poem? Would you like to listen to my poem? Huh. So much depends upon a small comma. Uh. <laughs> so much depends upon a small comma placed in the right position in the subtitle. My poem. <laughs> I just copied William Carlos Williams. So this is the man who wrote the Vinova. It is G.M. Hopkins. Another queer writer from the Victorian periods.
early 20th century agaya early 20th century was a period of great changes which even among the following did not happen in the early 20th century did not happen is it first world war the russian revolution rise of mussolini the crimean war which did not happen i am confused i do you know ankita i think it's the crimean war because it happened in the 19th century and not 20th century tearing this is the crimean war fighting between the english people and the russians the crimean war and europeans all the europeans were there and who won the europeans won russians were defeated a ankita who wrote a poem called i won't say called uh, based the on charge, the crimean war the charge of the light brigade by tennyson correct hey the charge of the light brigade by lord alfred tennyson tinting correct 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 ye kaun hai ye uncle the preface to this work is often considered the manifesto of literary modernism oh 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 all these are works by joseph conrad ye to hai joseph conrad hai na the preface to one of his novels is the manifesto of literary modernism it presents modernist ideas about language and representation this work is also known for its racist perspectives of blackness and evil which is this work is it almayer's folly the nigger of the narcissus under western eyes or the rover ankita tell us Uh, it was the nigger of the narcissus from the picture tell us ankita what is the narcissus it was the ship the the ship correct it is a ship what is happening on the ship there is this nigger person james wet nigger mat bolo that is a bad Sorry. word yeah it's a bad <laughs> word <laughs> so he is there in the ship and he falls ill and everyone starts thinking that he is a bad omen for this journey so that's all about it and you know people start treating him very badly because and they you know they uh, keep on neglecting him and ultimately he dies and uh, the there are people who are supporting ship. him also yeah so the nigger of the narcissus there is a preface to this novel which is an example of literary modernism literary impressionism to be precise All right, guys. Let us think of the other works of Joseph Conrad, which is the first work by Joseph Conrad, eighteen ninety-five. Ankita, uh, his debut novel was Almayer's Folly. Almayer's Folly. His most famous novel is The Heart of Darkness. Darkness. Can you name other novels, Ankita? There other is Nostromo. 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 Lord Jim. Lord Jim. Very Then, good. Uh, yeah then the rover was there. the the rover is here also <laughs> under western eyes is based on something else kya hai bolo yeah it was uh, based on dostoevsky's uh, crime and punishment very good dostoevsky's crime and punishment and under western eyes is set in russia russia yes ankita let us move on but before that let me ask you joseph conrad belongs to which period He he belonged to the Edwardian period. Edwardian मतलब क्या है? Who was ruling in the time? The King Edward. Uh, King, King Edward. Edward five or four. Okay, I will give you options. Shall I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Edward six. <laughs> no seven. <laughs> Edward seven. Edward VI कौन था अंकिता? Edward VI was the brother of Mary the first. He Jane Seymour's son. हाँ हाँ. He Edward ruled VI. in the uh, early period, the 16th century. And Edward VI appears as the prince in Mark Twain's Prince and the Pauper. Do you remember? Mark Twain wrote the Prince and the Pauper. Okay. Tom Canty and Edward. Right. Edward the fourth कौन था अंकिता? Edward the fourth was a man who brought printing to England in the time yes. of Wars of the Roses. Edward the fifth कौन था अंकिता? हमें पता नहीं कोई था बीच में था. I remember <laughs> Edward the second. <laughs> Edward the second is the play written by uh, Marlowe. Marlo. And Edward the second uh, was also queer. He had a love for Gaveston. 
Yeah. Yeah. The, during the, his time, there was the Mortimer Rebellion. Amazing. We remembered everything. Let us move on. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This novel is set against the backdrop of the great game. And it details the trajectories of an orphaned son of an Irish soldier. What is there on the picture? Save me from my friends. Who is saying? Afghanistan is saying. This is Russia, bear. And this is England, the lion. Afghanistan is being... Uh, taken over by Russia and England. Ultimately, all this led to the rise of Osama bin Laden. Right? And uh, Russia and England were trying to uh, take possession of Afghanistan. And this happened from a long time ago. The great game, it was called. And also Crimean War was the reason for this. Crimean War was related to this. When England fought with Russia. Right? Uh, it was uh, all part of imperialism. So, which is the work by Rudyard Kipling set against the great game? Is it Jungle Book, Kim, Nostromo or Lord Jim? Nostromo and Lord Jim are not by Kipling, actually. So, it is Kim. We know Jungle Book is nothing to do, has nothing to do with politics. It is Kim. They go, Kim, Kim is an Irish orphan, Kimbal O'Hara. And he is caught between politics on the one hand, spirituality on the other. There is a... Um, Lama, a Tibetan Lama, whom he is following, spirituality. This Lama is searching for river of the arrow. And this guy Kim also gets involved with politics. Will you remember everybody? And Kim is set in the place. Which place, Ankita? It was uh, Lahore. Lahore. Which novel uh, by Babsi Sidwa is set in Lahore? It was... Uh... Ice cream, not ice cream candy. Ice candy man. <laughs> ice candy man. I was ice cream. Candy. You can't say the names of all the things that you love to eat, okay? Yeah, ice candy. <laughs> you can't say okay, chicken biryani man, uh, ice cream man, <laughs> all sorts of different different uh, chole bature man. <laughs> Okay, so that is uh, Radhya Kipling. Hey, Ankita, when did Radhya Kipling get Nobel Prize? Everybody knows YouTube is going to burst with the answers. 1907. 1907. <laughs> <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> mm. Ankita is smart. This guy is thinking. Who is this guy? <laughs> Do you have any idea? I can't tell you because that is the answer. The Rocking Horse winner. The Virgin and the Gypsy. These are short stories by... Is it Rudyard Kipling, Thomas Hardy, D.H. Lawrence or James Joyce? James Joyce ka chashma tha. Ye to James Joyce nahi hoga. Is it Rudyard Kipling, Thomas Hardy, D.H. Lawrence? Rocking Horse winner, Virgin and the Gypsy, The Order of Chrysanthemums. Bolo Ankita, your turn. It's D.H. Lawrence. Oh, Ankita said it. That is the look he is giving now. <laughs> oh, she said that also. Oh, <laughs> okay, that's right. D.H. Lawrence. I am making all these dramatic comments and the pictures also because you will remember them. Okay. Rocking Horse Winner and Virgin and the Gypsy. All by D.H. Lawrence. Okay. Identify the correct statement. Uh, but Ankita, we did not talk about the other important works of D.H. Lawrence. We should have done that. Which is the first major novel by D.H. Lawrence, Ankita? The White Peacock. The White Peacock is ka, 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 correct. The White Peacock. Others? 1913, wala? No, Sons and Lovers was there. Yes. Sons and Lovers. Then? Which then is the, the Rainbow. No, the... Which is the sequel to The Rainbow? Uh, women in Love. Women in Love. Which are the leadership novels? Aaron's Rod, Kangaroo. And there was another one. <laughs> I'm the Plume to Serpent in Mexico. Ah, the Plume Serpent. It was set in Mexico, right? The Plume Serpent was set in Which Mexico. Which novel recently became a movie? Lady Chatterley's Lover. Yes. Very good. T.S. Lawrence also wrote poetry. Can you name some of his poems, Angita? Uh, birds and beasts and flowers and tortoises. They are poetry collections. Huh. Naam ka bolo poems ka? Snake, piano. Yeah. 
Oh, Snake, you know. what is this? Oh, the mosquito. <laughs> <laughs> the mosquito. Who also wrote mosquito novel? Um, <laughs> uh, Ford. Ford, not Ford. William Faulkner. Oh, William Faulkner. Okay. The the mosquito <laughs> is a novel by William Faulkner. Okay. The mosquito is a poem by D. H. Lawrence. Ah. Then uh, he also wrote uh, drama plays. Also, he also wrote criticism. Oh, and he died of tuberculosis at the age of forty four. So sad. He ran away with his professor's wife. <laughs> yes. Ye kaun hai? T. S. Eliot. Identify the correct statement. YouTubers, your turn. T. S. Eliot was influenced by French symbolism. Lagta hai sahi hai. Correct, I guess. He was the director of Faber and Faber, publisher. Geronsian is a dramatic interior monologue by Eliot. All are true, isn't it, Ankita? Yeah, I think all these are true only. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay, so Ankita, which of these is about uh, an old man talking to a young boy? Geronsian. Correct. Uh, which is the... Mm, poem by uh, T.S. Eliot that he wrote based on his conversion. Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday is correct. Uh, there is a poem where scarecrow like people are depicted. They are singing some um, nursery rhyme. Which is The that Hollow poem? Man. The Hollow Man. Do you know which nursery rhyme, guys? You should look it up. It's a small poem. It's easy. Then, which is the poem by um, T.S. Eliot with an epigraph taken from Love's, no, sorry, Dante's Inferno. The Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock. Correct, I made a mistake and said it. <laughs> the Love Song of J. Alfred Prufrock, which is a novel by T.S., sorry, poem by T.S. Eliot with an ep epigraph from Petronius' Satyricon. The, the Westland. The Wasteland is ka -ka 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 correct. Very good. You are amazing, everyone. YouTubers are also answering. I can see that. Who is this man? Hey, go get a haircut. <laughs> I should not say that. What is wrong with his hair? Nothing is wrong. See, I also need a haircut then. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't get a haircut. Your hair looks nice. This long poem depicts a poet whose life has become sterile and meaningless. It talks about a poet who strove to resuscitate, resuscitate the dead art of poetry to maintain the sublime. There is a poet trying to uh, resus resuscitate the dead art of poetry to maintain the sublime. Who wrote about that poem? All these are by Ezra Pound. You can see Ezra Pound here. Is it the Cantos, Reposters, Hugh Selwyn, Mobley, or ABC of Reading? Ankita? It was Hugh Selwyn, Mobley. Yes. Look at beautiful book cover, isn't it? I love it. Books. Ding, ding. Hugh Selwyn, Mobley. It's about a poet who finds his life sterile and meaningless. Mm, this is going well. Who is thinking? George Bernard Shaw. Which among the following is not one of the unpleasant plays of George Bernard Shaw? Is it Widower's Houses? The Philanderer? Mrs. Warren's Profession? You never can tell. Definitely, guys. Widower's Houses, Philanderer and Mrs. Warren's Profession are unpleasant plays. Which of these, Ankita, is based on um, prostitution? Uh, Mrs. Warren's Profession. Mrs. Warren's profession. In Mrs. Warren's profession, who is the new woman who loves mathematics? Who is a mathematician? Yeah, it is actually her daughter. I remember. It's her daughter. Uh... Mrs. Warren's daughter. Vivian. Yeah. Vivian. 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 Vivian Warren. Great. So it is, you never can tell. Look at the cover page. Guys, in YouTubers, are you loving the cover pages and pictures that we have put? And do you like this dialogue, conversation, mode, discussion? Let us know in the chat box. It means a lot. 
which among the following i already said this next one ten 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 identify the wrong pair epiphany is it by james joyce interior monologue did edward duja duja they write about it D.S. Lawrence, did he write about blood consciousness? Virginia Woolf, did she develop theory of impersonality? Everybody knows, don't you? Dun, 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 dun. What is the answer? Epiphany is by James Joyce. Interior monologue or stream of consciousness did appear in Edward Dujardin. D.S. Lawrence did talk about blood consciousness. Who developed the theory of impersonality, Ankita? It was T.S. Eliot. That is absolutely right. Virginia Woolf is thinking, I did not develop that. Why are you blaming me? Did you like that? Oh, so beautiful. Virginia Woolf again. This is an anti-novel by Virginia Woolf based on the life of Vita Sackwell West. Hey guys, Vita Sackwell West was her girlfriend. They, they were bisexual. And uh, in this book that we are talking about, there is a male poet turning into a woman and living hundreds of years. Is it To the Lighthouse, The Waves, Orlando, A Biography or The Years? Bolo of everyone. Ankita, your turn. It's Orlando, A Biography. Ding, ding, ding. In the Elizabethan period, this man lived Orlando and then he became a woman. Dear friends, this Orlando has written Oak Tree and also one more book is there. Do you remember, Angita? I think he wrote the poem, The Oak Tree, and it was published later. Now one more book is there. Mm. Ethel Bird, a tragedy. It, huh. Ethel yeah. Bird, a tragedy. Yeah. Yes. What among the following is the profession of Dr. Aziz in A Passage to India? This is from the 1984 movie. There was an earlier movie by David Lean also. Is he a professor, a clerk, a surgeon? It could be a professor. He is Dr. Aziz, PhD, maybe. Or an archaeologist. What do you think, Ankita? He was a, a surgeon. Yes, yeah. medical doctor he is. Hey, what is the name of this character? Yeah, it was <laughs> Adela. Adela Quested. Yes. And this is Professor. Professor Gorbole. Gor Gorbole. Gorbole. <laughs> you said it. Right. They go on an elephant, remember? They all go to the Marabar caves, remember? Yeah. Hey. John Barthwick, a member of the parliament, is a character in which play by John Galsworthy? Is it the silver box, strife, justice, or the skin game? John Barthwick is a member of parliament. His son is a rich, pampered young man. He steals something but does not get into trouble. The same object another poor man steals. And that poor man gets into trouble. That is the first play by John Galsworthy. Ankita, tell us the answer. It was the silver box. Ta -da -da -dang. It is a silver cigarette case. That is the meaning of silver box. Amazing girl, you said it. Philip Herriton. Oh, copyrighted picture I took. So sorry, I shouldn't have done that. Philip Herriton is in a mission. To bring a woman back to her relatives. In which novel among the following? Is it a room with a view? The ambassadors were angels fear to tread or Howard's end. All of these are by E.M. Foster. I think it is a play, is a novel with a title taken from Alexander Pope. Title taken from Alexander Pope. So, Kansa hai Ankita? It was where angels fear to treat. Tread, tread. Tread, tread. Where angels fear to tread. Lilia Herriton. Sorry, Philip Herriton and Lilia Herriton, yes. Ye kaun hai? Aldous Huxley hai? With Anthony Beave is a socialist at the heart of this work. This work comments on the complicated issues of responsibility and self-formation. Which is this novel about Anthony Beavis? He is 
blindly indulging in uh, mainstream culture. That is that meaning. Tell me, is it Chrome Yellow, his first novel, or Antic Hay? Is it Point Counterpoint, his longest, largest novel? Or is it Islas in Gaza? Ankita? I think it's Islas in Gaza. Right, dear friends. It is Islas in Gaza. It is the title is taken from Samson Agonistus by John Milton. Very good. Do you know, Ankita, which of these is a, a novel set in a country house during a party? It was a chrome yellow. Yes. There is a character in chrome yellow that comes in the wastelands. Madame Sosotris. Madame, Madame Sosotris. Amazing. Ankita, point counterpoint is a title taken from what? Music. Music. So smart of you to say that. Good. In which novel among the following, we see the impact of Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf across women of three generations. Mrs. Dalloway is played by Meryl Streep. This is Virginia Woolf. This is Mrs. Brown. Which is the novel? Is it Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Maybe yes. Which is the novel? YouTubers. YouTubers know the correct answer. It is the Pulitzer Prize winning novel by Michael Cunningham. It is The Hours. Meryl Streep, Julian Moore and our Nicole Kidman. The Hours by Michael Cunningham. Great going, guys. Which novel among the following examines the ill effects of industrialization on the human psyche, resolving that individual and collective rebirth is possible only through human intensity and passion? I think this is Ursula and Rupert Birkin. Which is the novel? Is it The Man of Property, Finnegan's Wake, Women in Love, or The Voyage Out? YouTubers, you are saying the correct answer, I know. It is correct. Women in Love. Ankita, who are the two heroines in Women in Love? Who are the women in love? It is Ursula and Gudrun. Yes, Ursula and Gudrun. Oh, this is Birkin. Sorry, uh, uh, Gerald Critch taming the Arab mare. Remember? It's a famous scene. There is a rabbit in a, um, Women in Love. What is the name of that rabbit? Bis Bismarck. Bismarck, correct. Bismarck. There's also a dog. Lulu. Yes. Very good. They're all very important symbols. All right. Ye kaun hai? Ha, mujhe pata hai. Lekin main bolungi nahi because that is the answer. A Sort of Life and Ways of Escape are autobiographical works of D.H. Lawrence, W.H. Auden, Graham Greene, Oh, Malcolm Lowry. This is the man who wrote Catholic novels, dear friends. YouTubers, yes, you said it. Ankita also knows it. What is the answer? It is Graham Green. Graham Green. Dekho, Ankita, tell me the names of his Catholic novels. It was The Power and the Glory, Brighton no, no. Rock. In correct order, bolo. Okay, okay. Brighton Rock. The Power and the Glory, The Heart of the Matter, The End of the Affair. That's right. Bright and Rock, The Power and the Glory, The Heart of the Matter, The End of the Affair. Amazing girl, you said it. Which among the following influenced the wasteland? Jesse Western's Ritual to Romance, James Fraser's The Golden Bow, Ovid's Metamorphoses, S-E-S it should be, all of the above. I think it may be all of the above. What do you think, Ankita? Yeah, I think he borrowed elements from all of this. Let us check the answer, shall we? Yeah. Ta -da -da Correct. Hai. Look at the burial of the dead. April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land, mixing memory and desire, stirring dull roots with spring rain. Beautiful. There's a lot of rain happening right now here at Kochi. Is it raining there anywhere? Tell me, YouTubers and Ankita. It's not raining in Kolkata. 
<laughs> okay is it sweltering hot no it's now we have very pleasant weather actually in kolkata it's great. very pleasant great this work is a comic inversion of an in ancient tragedy of oedipus and it raged the irish audiences with its satire of irish cockiness which work is this is it riders to the sea the playboy of the western world juno and the peacock the plow and the stars there were riots in dublin based on this it is in 1907 these riots took place ankita bolo na it is, it's the, the 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 playboy of the western world that's right by j m singe john millington singe a man is killing his own father he doesn't kill he attempts and at first everybody says wow what a hero and then they say you killed your father you try to kill your father we will kill you <laughs> this is the playboy of the western world it is actually making fun of ireland ye kon hai i know this is hg wells a frankenstein like scientist is present in which work among the following is it tono bungay the invisible man the island of dr morrow or the war of the worlds koi bol sakta hai kya frankenstein like scientist he is making animal uh, you know creatures out of animal parts oh tono bungay is about a medicine is it invisible man ankita i think it's the island of dr morrow correct the island of dr morrow by hg wells human being and animal very little difference between the two guys nice book cover isn't it all right that brings us to the end of this exhaustive session on late 19th century early 20th century i hope all of you loved it we will be back with more today is wednesday there are two more days of revision and saturday and sunday we'll take a break so dear friends be with us like the video share the video and also read extra on all these authors every few days i will give you the pdf in the telegram group at 9:30 pm in telegram in our channel valat public group there is a free poll happening with amazing questions please join us there and go to the files tab take all the pdf from there you can pass net or any exam just with those pdfs because they are so amazingly exhaustive however if you want to join any of our paid courses there's a 30 day crash course going on there is a net quiz program going on there is an audio program if you want just the audios of my lectures that also is possible for a very small price and there is a post colonial literature course going on just for rupees 250 you will get a lot of material video lectures over 5 weeks every monday and also you will get quizzes based on it for any of these you can contact our office 9387839871 for our books you can check out bodhitripublications.org or you can check out our website valath.in some of these courses are happening so rapidly all these courses may not be there in the website actually because every day i think okay let us start this let us start this like that so you can call us or you can log on to our website our website had a small glitch uh, which took a uh, uh, like over 24 hours to sort it out it is 90% sorted now everybody will get all the videos tomorrow itself okay our team has been working overnight also for it so many people sitting and uploading and taking care of it thank you for your patience uh, tomorrow everything will be fine so that is all from us for tonight god bless you all good night ankita bye <laughs> bye everyone